Hi guys, Nathan here. Hi, Michelle Alva here. We're here to talk about relationships today. Um, something that's been very important to me as I've gone on my journey of learning has been relationship. And I've, I've noticed these parallels between all the relating, both intimate partners, business, friendships, the whole thing has really come down to authenticity. And it's, it's been a challenge for me to be honest. It's been a challenge for me to reveal myself and to, uh, and to disclose the things that are coming up for me. And it's so important though to be authentic because in the authenticity I'm realizing that I truly love myself in my sharing. I truly love myself to reveal myself to others. And what I've feared has been others not accepting me because if I reveal myself and this person doesn't accept me, then maybe I'm not loved. So I'm learning though in this process that it doesn't matter what the other person thinks. They have their own stuff and I get to own mine. Mm -hmm. And do you want to share anything on authenticity, Michelle? Well, I feel that, yes, that's something that I strive for, and especially everything that I do in my work, and realizing how I think it really is uh, a challenge if, like for me to really say what I really feel because I don't want to be rejected. Um, when I think about the times where I held back really being authentic, really being in my truth and honoring my truth, it's been because I was scared that maybe it wasn't gonna work out with a certain someone. What if I really say what I really feel? Are they still gonna wanna be with me? And, but the thing is, when I did that, I'm cheating on myself. I'm being inauthentic with myself. And I've discovered, after making so many mistakes, that it doesn't work, it doesn't work to, put on a mask and act like something that you're not and it's a lot of work to do that it's because basically we're lying to us and sorry phone call came on the screen um and i'm also noticing in the inauthenticity um and trying to cover things up that i run two parallel stories on one side i'm running a story that's all sugar-coated and it's like this is my fantasy this is the story i have where like everything's good but then when i get triggered into my fear i have this story of like this person's malicious this person's doing all these things and i realize by not confronting things i'm creating these stories that are ultimately leaving me disempowered they're leaving me um, with a lack of freedom and these things, you know, they affect our lives, so. And like, I, I realized too, like with dating, for example, what if on that very first date, you could just totally be yourself? What if the woman wouldn't even wear makeup? What if she was just dressed how she dresses every single day? And whatever questions she wants to ask, I think, you know, when we ask questions, we get the answers. And how many times do we just try to show everything is perfect? And, um, and then we wind up dating someone that is just really showing us their best, which is not really authentic and it's not as exciting. You know, when we say things that we really feel, it's so much more juicy and yes. spontaneous. And um, so I think sometimes life is just showing us what we want to create more of and what we don't. And at this point in my life, I, I just see no other way than to be myself. And being myself is enough. And that's where I'm at. And that has been a, a long journey of self-acceptance and embracing all of who I am and discovering how much shame, how much judgment I was holding about myself. And so I created this guided meditation about how to embody self-acceptance and trust. And I'm sharing that with you all today. And I'd love to know how that benefits you. So if you're struggling with being authentic or if you wish to be more truer to you and you want to embody that feeling of alignment with yourself we've added that uh, link to that meditation below and you can listen to that and it's actually an exercise to feel more clear and connected to all of who you are um, and i think at least what i see in the work that i do is that a lot of us are holding on to shame and guilt and that we a lot of us are hard on ourselves and i'd love to know your comments you know are you like that? Is this something that resonates with you? And has it been easy for you to show up as yourself? Or do you also struggle with this? Let us know. Yes, thank you, Michelle. And I also want to extend an invitation this Saturday night in Pompano Beach. We have a workshop called Men Healing Women Healing Men. And it was an inspiration of Michelle's here. And, uh, you know, we don't do so much teaching in this workshop. You know, 
you'll come in and Michelle will do like a sound healing, which will open up uh, a lot of possibilities for healing. But we really just facilitate a conversation. We facilitate a conversation amongst everyone that shows up and we get to reveal ourselves, which is what we're talking about here. And through the process of experiencing other people's sharings, we can see parallels and similarities for ourselves. And there's an opportunity in the sharing and the authenticity for us to learn about ourselves. So that's what we're really doing. We're coming with a uh, uh, intention of curiosity and wanting to learn. And it's a time also from what I've been learning in this work that I do and with my clients that there's a lot of resentment I feel women have towards men and a lot of, um, like, I hear this a lot, um, Miami doesn't have spiritual gut men or, you know, I want to meet someone but I live in Miami and somehow South Florida doesn't have awakened, beautiful, uh, conscious men. So. This is why Nathan is my, my co-facilitator in this class. Here he is. Here's one. <laughs> um, they exist. And, well, he's not in Miami, actually. He's in Boca. Pompano. Oh, Pompano. Pompano. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're getting closer. Um, so it's just a time for us to be ourselves. And Yoga for Life, the studio, is such a sacred space that we can practice really bringing our whole self for two hours and practicing being authentic and relating with each other which we may not know everybody that comes to the workshop but last workshop that we had I felt as though we all were one family and the picture on my cover photo of my Facebook page is all of us from the men healing women workshop that we did last time and we're all holding hands and it was really beautiful to see how much connection we could create in two hours with total strangers, mostly, um, just from being ourselves. And I'm so excited to create this experience with you, especially Nathan, because I feel you're embodying that. And at least it's not 100% right, but we're working towards showing up as ourselves because that's really why we're here in this lifetime, to share our beautiful uniqueness and embrace all of who we are. Authenticity, is, I'm learning, is never 100% that I'm discovering, I'm, I've, I'm constantly hiding things. And um, my, my good buddy Eli, you know Eli, mm -hmm. he's going through the landmark training, which has been amazing. I've been going through it as well recently. And he said only a person who's committed to being integrity will discover how many things they're out of integrity with. So it's in the awareness of where we're out of touch, would I say, that we can only then become in touch with the truth of all these great things that we know we are the spiritual teachings tell us that we're these powerful beings of love but we have to embrace the shadow and, well. and to and to remember that we're all doing our best you know or else we would have done something differently and to be patient and that's where the compassion and the acceptance it's so important like I hug myself a few times every day you know whenever I catch myself being hard on myself and it's just a practice so yes may we continue to practice and just thank you so much, Nathan, yes. for, for sharing this experience and um, with all of us. And I look forward to seeing you all on Saturday yes. at the Yoga for Life East at 7.30 p.m. for Men Healing Women Healing Men. Yes, and the links for the event and for the meditation are both in the description of this video. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye.